We all live inside a bubble, right? This is our world. We go to church here, we work over here, we go get our coffee over here, we go to this park over here, we usually go over here. We all live in this bubble. What you gotta do to get the life that God wants you to have, you gotta put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, that ain't, that ain't happening. You got to get real dogish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. When you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. It really is. Like discomfort and not being happy and content with certain situations in life, certain feelings in life. They're massive, massive motivators and they're, they're amazing at, at facilitating change. And yet our instinct is to avoid those and just sit on the couch and watch some reality show about dudes who make moonshine. The things that you're not comfortable with, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's not worth it. I mean, life's so short. and such glorious images in the world and such horror as well. And I want to see it all. So I've moved out of my comfort zone. It's um, essential for me. Otherwise, I may as well die.